All right guys, what's going on? This is another product review. Today we're gonna to be doing the Shark Cage multi-use ramp. Uh, and it does a whole lot more than just be a ramp. It can fold into a workbench, it can be a cargo box. And as you can see here, a lot of people are worried about losing space in their bed whenever they install this. This actually can be used as a bed extender. So just like those shelf avalanches, things like that. They have the bed extenders that come with the truck. You can lay this down, put your strap on, tighten it down, and then one at the bottom, obviously, which we're not going to strap because we're not going anywhere. But you can fit a full-size motorcycle, ATV, whatever you're going to ca carry with it. And now that you've seen the bed extender, I'm going to show you how the ramp works, how the box works, and how the work table works. All right, so just fold it down into the workbench, which is what we're going to do now. You simply pop it up, take your straps off. Under your latch, which holds together the whole system. Flip it up. Flip off the latch. Alright, so once you get the ramp down, last leg at a 90 degree angle, can't stress that enough. That's going to be your load bearing side. Grab your ATV. Pull it out right onto the ramp. Initiate your parking brake and now you're all set. You can put it up here to wash the ATV, change your oil, do whatever you need to do, maintenance twice the ATV, or if you have a, you're going dirt biking, put all your gear up here, whatever you need to put on here. It makes it nice because you have a little workbench. Uh, don't have to break your back, break your knees trying to get underneath the thing to change the oil or wash it. It's all right there, it makes it really easy. And now that we've shown you the work table, we're gonna throw the ATV back into the truck and show you how the ramp works and just how strong the Shark Cage ramp is. All right, so, it back on the truck and we're going to go from the work table down to the ramp really simple all you're doing is extending this last leg out once you got that you're all done walk right up the ramp cool part about the ramp is these slats that go along the side they're grooved so it makes it really easy if it's wet really easy for your feet to grip you're not going to have anything slipping off of it makes it very easy to walk things up and walk things down great part about it is really strong you just ride the atv dirt bike whatever you have you can ride it right up ride it right down just like this. As you can see, don't gotta go slow. You can fly down it, you can fly up it. And I think I'll show you how to go up it now, because that's the fun part. All right, so like I said, you don't need to be shy with this thing. You can bomb up it. It's incredibly strong. And I'll show you how to do it right now. Like I said, you don't gotta be shy with this ramp. It's incredibly durable, incredibly strong. This thing's bulletproof. You can go up this thing with a gold wing, you can go up with a Grizzly 700, a Honda Foreman, it doesn't matter. It's gonna take a beating and it makes everything a lot easier for you loading and unloading. Now that we got the ATV back up inside of the truck, we're just gonna push it in a little bit and then we're gonna show you how to set up the bed extender. I know we went over in the beginning, but just so you know how to get it from ramp to bed extender, loaded and done, we're gonna go through it one more time. All right, once you got your ATV, dirt bike, whatever you're gonna be loading up inside of the bed, and you're ready to put your ramp back up into the bed extender mode, all you have to do, this leaf, this leaf, lift up, put it right into the work table mode, then grab this bottom leaf, flip up underneath, Put the latch on, lock it in, then fold it in just like that. Now you can use the bed extender like this if you don't need all that extra room. I don't, so this is how I would use it. Locking it in, one strap, boom. Side. And then one more strap here in the bottom. Just loop it up wherever you want to grab it. And then you're done. All right, so the other way you can use a bed extender if you need a little bit more room inside of the bed of the truck is very simple. Loosen up your straps just a little bit more. Get a nice little distance on them. And then you're just going to take the bed extender, 
pulled it down just like this. One strap on. Put the next strap on. Lock it up down here. Then you're done. Now you have your entire bed actually more than your entire bed because you actually have space from your tailgate so having this ramp installed on your bed isn't taking up any space whenever you're hauling things. Alright the last thing we're going to show you by using the shark cage ramp is that you can actually make a cargo style box right inside of the bed of the truck if you're hauling ATVs or dirt bikes or whatever you're hauling once you get them up in there, if you have the room to have the cargo box, you can actually store your cans of gas or whatever inside of a semi-enclosed structure so they're not going to be bounced around all inside of the car. So to do that, we're going to do exactly how we fold it up into the bed extender mode. Grab this leaf, this leaf, lift it up at the 90 degree angle, grab the last leaf, flip it under, lock it in. going to shut the tailgate. Once you get it shut, you're literally going to flip this up and now you have a cargo box. Uh, you can use tie downs or whatever you want. They do have hooks that are on here. Um, I found that I wanted a little bit more security whenever I was using something inside of the cargo box. So I just took straps just as I would with the um, bed extender to tie those down um, and then I was good to go. Uh, you can use bungee cords on the inside if you want them to be a little bit tighter but it also does come with cargo nets which you typically would use on the sides for the bed extender as well as on the sides in the box. We don't really have a bunch of stuff floating around in the, in the bed of the truck aside from ATVs and dirt bikes and whatnot so we don't really need the cargo nets that's why you didn't see them in the video but other than that that's really the shark cage in a nutshell. It's a pretty awesome product. Um, we've really enjoyed having it so far. Uh, the guys at Shark, Shark Cage are awesome and the ramps work amazingly. A lot better than having those single little ramps, all those fails you see on YouTube. You're never gonna have any issues with this. So definitely recommend them. Go check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.